Hello. We're in here. This is Crew with uh, Electric Ground, and I'm here with Jessica Lewis. And Jessica is a multi talented artist. Um, she does a lot of different things. One thing that uh, intrigued me and brought got to my attention was the music. So tell us about uh, what got you into music and your passion. Okay. So um, honestly, I've been singing since I can remember. Um, I I don't even really recall what got me into it except for um, my parents played a lot of albums at the house when I was growing up. They're old, uh, I say hippies, but they're, you know, they had a lot of records and they had a record cabinet and I used to get down there and get in there and pull everything out and look at it, alphabetize it because I'm a weirdo and, you know, only child so I might have been bored. Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah. you know, got down there and was, you know, always messing with stuff and then got into my own, you know, listening to music with my parents in the car and watching music videos because that's the era I'm from. And, yeah. um, you know, just kind of started singing along with stuff. And then school, um, school and church are really what got me into to singing in public. Got you. Yeah. And then the different albums, so the genres were a uh, uh, wide variety. Wide variety. Um, I know they listen to a lot of uh, rock, classic rock, what we'd now consider classic rock, even though some of our music, I think, is now classic rock well yeah um, so they you know mother loves rolling stones dad tom petty ode to the shirt here there we go uh you know the eagles things like that um and then country music was something just i think maybe being from texas they they listened to it um and it's really what i gravitated to um you know more so in singing initially got you and probably the the first time that you wrote a song or performed what was that? uh so i would say church and school kind of coincided in the age that i was so probably i'd say nine eight nine years old um ish in church children's choir stuff like that but then my first like on stage performance by myself solo solo, uh, solo. and it wasn't intended to be solo so it's interesting that it happened that way um it was fifth grade talent show okay. and i worked up a duet routine with my girlfriend also named jessica to respect R E S P E C T. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Jessica got grounded, and her mother did not let her come do the talent show. She get grounded for being disrespectful. I probably. Goodness. I don't know. And so my mom said, "But wait, our, our girls are in this together. Like you can't leave my Jess hanging." And uh, she didn't care. And she said, "Well, Jessica can't come." And so I said, oh. "Well, I'll just do it by myself." And uh, well, I didn't get off stage after that. No, <laughs> so no. yeah. You felt comfortable pretty quick, right? Yes. Uh, was yeah. that a surprise to you? You thought maybe you'd have the stage fright a little bit? It, uh, you know, and I remember there were jitters. I mean, I was young, yeah, 10 years old at that point probably and didn't yeah. know probably what I was doing, but, uh, but I rolled with it and made it happen. And so that definitely was a foray into um, being able to hold my own on stage. And have those, those healthy, nervous energy. Yes. You know? It yes. keeps you at least on your toes and on point, right? Exactly, yep. Yeah. Because okay. it's a whole different feeling. Yeah. So then we fast forward into, have you made any albums? Uh, have you put singles out? Or everything's been on the ground so far? So, um, not so much. Um, I more so have done various, um, I want to say, I'm from Arlington, Texas originally. live in Waco now. DFW. Uh, yep, DFW. Been in Waco about 15 years. Uh, but Arlington was home for the better first part of my life and I played on a show up there called Johnny High's Country Music Review. Okay. Um, it was a live uh, performance venue, very renowned up there and in the country music scene. It's where Leanne Rhymes started, Leanne Womack, a um, lot of, you know, singers top, of that. Top, top, yeah. top So uh, I did a weekend stuff up there live uh, with a super, you know, great band and uh, I could do a lot of covers and stuff like that. I have some original stuff, I've never put it out, um, probably just, you know, one thing I was just doing the grind of doing you know what I do which were covers and varieties and things like that and sitting in on different venues and operas and things like that but uh, yeah so it was kind of my that was my formative years outside of school and church was playing that venue in Arlington okay what brought you to Waco my grandparents um, actually lived uh, in Woodway and so uh, my grandfather passed away in 2000 then my parents moved to Waco in 2006 from Arlington to be with my grandmother. 
and then I followed suit in 2009 uh, because I thought, well, wait, everyone left me up here alone. Yeah. I guess I'll come down here too and see what's going on. And then I, uh, I never left. <laughs> got comfortable, got comfortable. I got comfortable. And when it comes to, so mainly covers, but uh, are you trying to, you see yourself focusing a little bit more on the originals or just dab dabbling it a little bit? Uh... It's definitely something I would like to do. I think that, you know, um, in the business that I've been in or things that I've been doing, which I took a little hiatus from even gigging regularly um, for a while, kind of when COVID hit, which wasn't, I didn't intend to do it with that, but it just kind of worked out no, that way. No one's going to blame you either. That, yeah, that affected everybody. right. That was a hard deal. And so um, I, I think getting back into it, I'm more open to doing, you know, yes, more than music I want to do, not just covers that, you know, maybe people want to hear stuff I want to do, yeah. but incorporating some original stuff into that as well. Nice. And so you have a, a complete, a full band that's been rocking with you this whole time? I've done several different projects um, since I've been in Waco. So we had a... Uh, Let's see, I actually my ex-husband and I, we were a duo for a long time, um, probably about eight years, and had a lot of great shows, great venues that we played, uh, friends that played with us. We did both duo, trio, full band stuff. Um, since that, you know, when life changed gears a little bit, I had a partner that I do duo stuff with, and we do mainly country stuff. Um, I actually have a project going currently that is going to be full band, um, so country, rock, blues, things yeah. like that. And so I think, you know, covers um, will will be done, but then we'll also incorporate some originals in there too, eventually. And what about uh, collaborations? Have you considered, like, would you just stay country? Have you considered venturing off and having different featured artists from different genres? I, I love the thought of incorporating other genres and other, you know, and just different things because one of the things in doing some of the shows that I've done recently, which is how we came to know each other, um, yeah. project, project gigs, um, and singing these different genres and things. It's so much fun and so fulfilling and it really accesses a different part of your um, artistry that That's you don't, right. you know, it's all about expanding and growing. And being willing and, and going with the flow like you said earlier. So. Exactly, yeah. All right, so now there's one side, this is the side that got me to ask you to come out this way, is okay. this acting that yes. I'm hearing about. What right. got you into that? Uh, well, was it the movies you used to watch? Um, did somebody say that you seem like have the, the knack for theater arts what was it yeah so uh on that same vein of doing project pieces and gigs and things like that um you know with some good friends of mine um the producer and writer of the the short film that i did recently uh, thank you jesus contacted you know through a friend of a friend and said you know i'd like for you to come and do this would you be interested and my first instinct was I i'm not an actress I, that's not my thing and well just just think about it because I think you know you could you may have some untapped talent or actually what my, my good friend Brian said was you know it's just like being on stage singing it's just a different format and so I did it and I loved it and um, I definitely would consider doing it again I think there's you know stuff down the road would you that. agree that one element that's fun is the the outtakes the bloopers because I know there's that was fun that was definitely fun and just you know I think the behind the scenes seeing what actually goes into it and you know that kind of just I mean we've all watched how things are made growing yeah. up and you know seeing how the behind the scenes stuff but Being really scene, yeah. getting to see like okay we're gonna shoot this five times from different angles yeah. and um, you know even when my parts done you know the few hours of filming in a night several nights or however long the stuff that gets brought home and edited and put together and cut and diced and music added like that and going in that we recorded a few songs for that um or two songs for that project I had to get dissected and it just wasn't over after the recording oh, was done yeah then. there's so much behind the scenes work okay so. and so one uh one short film and you have plans on doing more uh you feel comfortable on screen now uh, or more comfortable than you thought I, I think after doing it knowing how the process goes watching it knowing what you can improve on because you're always learning and you know just when I sing I if I can watch a live performance of myself I don't want to you know focus too hard or get weird about it but I do want to see what I can improve upon yeah. so I think you know I'm definitely uh, that was a growing experience and will help me you know do future projects of the make sort. sure y'all look out she got some stuff coming yeah. but speaking on that though what is uh, in the in the near future that you're working on so um, honestly, you know, I'm, I'm really focused right now, um, having done a few, like I said, project things recently, getting back into maybe some of my own. Um, we have a, a band working 
Uh, rehearsals are currently uh, going on, so we'll be yeah. working on that, getting some gigs booked. Um, I'll still probably do some like duo trio type stuff here and there, uh, but really just want to, you know, focus on my brand and trying to, you know, what's a reflection of me That's and what true. can I put out there and uh, what do I enjoy that people enjoy as well. And, uh, and what, yeah. a, a big difference between the covers and your original songs, um, how much of the original songs do you feel you are uh, expressing yourself or getting to show, you know, the real you? Right. Um, and I haven't done so much of that, especially on a, a live stage as of yet. So I think that that'll be a neat experience to to dive into. That's really one of my goals is to, you know, move forward with that and untap part of me. Kind of like the acting thing, um, yeah. you know, do that. Um, we've had talks of a musical and things like that. Uh, so that yeah. would be a neat kind of kind of incorporating the best of both worlds, which is really just. That's, that is both. That is both worlds. Yeah. So, um, yeah, things like that. Right. And summer's a, summer, summer's a good time to do it, uh, just so you know. Summer's a good time, yep. And we're in patio season right now, so, you know, I'll be, I, if I'm out, you know, I try to go in, out and take in live music as much as I can and support my friends. I have a lot of, you know, good friends in town that do this. And um, anytime I'm out, if, you know, a friend's so, you know, they're nice enough to ask me up on their stage, you might see me pop in on a song or two here, here or there. there but, yeah. uh, but other than that, I'll definitely be looking to, you know, put my, put my stuff back out there. Um, over the summer for sure okay so check this out y'all make sure that y'all tune in jessica she does everything and she's gonna surprise you with some more stuff here in the future it's electric ground we're out bye